Dun, 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 dun. Look what came. My Kringle Three Wick 100% Soy Wax Candles. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Kringle candle haul. My Kringle Three Wick 100% Soy Wax Candles came in the mail and I am so excited. We don't even need to discuss that my candles from Kringle are amazing. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, and what that means is if you use the code DREWYOCK15, you'll actually save 15% off of your candle purchase, and who doesn't like some coin to save some money? I know I do. So, I have I have eight fragrances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight fragrances, but I have two of each of two of them. So, I have... 10 candles, eight fragrances, plus a free candle that was included in orders over $125. But I also wanted to show a little shout out to Jamie. Jamie puts these handwritten notes in the bags, in the boxes, which I just love. Welcome back, Drew. Good to see you. Thank you and enjoy, Jamie. It's those little things that just really make a huge difference. I love to see it. I love the little handwritten notes. And I love the three wick, 100% soy. We talk about it all the time here. And as ambassadors, we're not paid to say we love the candle. We are here to share with you why we love them and what we don't love about them. Because guess what? I'm always honest. I'm literally holding a candle that I don't care for, but I'm giving it that old college try. Ooh, oh my gosh, speaking of college try, I have an Easter haul too. Wait one second. I totally forgot about the Easter candles. I placed an order for one of each of the Easter candles and as of now, only the one is left. I'm just gonna really talk about these quickly on here because they are sold out and I will review them in my empties. I'm saving these for Easter week. I'm gonna burn one in the living room, one in my bedroom and one in the kitchen and just create this like amazing Easter vibe next week for Easter week or is it the week after? I think it's two weeks from now. Anyway, the first one I have is Easter Chicks, obsessed with the packaging, or Marshmallow Chicks, obsessed with the packaging. You guys have seen them on here before. I'm last to show them, but I have had them for a while. Marshmallow, smooth vanilla, lemon, sugar crystals, and creamy butter. This is such a yummy lemon bakery marshmallow sweet deliciousness. I really, really like it. I'm excited. I'm gonna burn this one in the kitchen. I just think it's such a fun, fruity, delicious fragrance. My favorite out of them is Chocolate Bunnies. For one, the packaging here is absolutely adorable. I cannot get over how cute these little bunnies in their baskets are. And the notes on Chocolate Bunnies are chocolate, cream, caramel, vanilla, and coconut. And I saw someone in the Kringle Facebook group say this this is my favorite kringle chocolate candle and i don't love chocolate scents but this literally smells like an easter basket like whenever you go into a chocolate shop or whenever it's easter and you were a kid and you got an easter basket full of chocolate that's what this smells like it's like chocolate is in the air with everything else sweet and festive and delicious that comes with easter this is such a fun fragrance. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. Oh, I love this. And I think burning all three together is gonna create such a vibe. And then the last one is Jelly Beans with this really fun gingham package. There we go, look at that. The fun pastel color gingham packaging. And the notes on this are blood orange, pomegranate cassis, bergamot, acai berry, and orange. And this is just like a fruity, delicious jelly bean. Nothing too crazy or off the wall exciting. Just a really fruity jelly bean. And I cannot wait. This is going to be burned in my living room. And I think with my flowers and my little Easter bunny display, it's going to look so cute the week of Easter. So excited to have those. And because I have three wicks in this haul, I'm just polishing them on my shirt. Look at the difference here. So you have that gold flat lid from, hello, from the three wick, and then you have the hammered 
metal silver lid from the three wick. So anyway, super excited to have those in my collection. And with that order, Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, giving her a shout out here. I have a Sicilian orange in the large two wick. I said I was going to order it. I did. It's a very herbal orange. And I say it like leans cat pee to me. I don't know why. When I burned the three wick hun um, soy blend, I did not love it, but I'm giving it the college try and I'm gonna light this again towards the summer in my kitchen to see if I get that same type of scent from this one. And then I also, because I just love the packaging, I ordered it in the 100% soy, the Sicilian orange. Look at that amazing wraparound label. I'm obsessed with the packaging on this one. So I definitely wanted to try it. I think this one doesn't smell nearly as herbal to me. It's also cold because it's still chilly outside even though it's spring. And the notes say Sicilian orange peel, Italian citrus accord, wild herbs, lavender, white cedar, and western pine. I love a citrus. And the herbs are not nearly as strong in the 100% soy than the 2X, so I'm not really sure. But my friend Tiffany Vanessa here on YouTube and Instagram, I love her, she's so sweet. She said this guy is a powerhouse. So I'm very curious to see how those all perform for me. I'll be very, very curious. So otherwise, I'm excited, a little nervous, but we'll see, again, giving it another shot because I think you need to give things more than one chance in life. All right, let's stick with the large jars. I got Marshmallow Morning, which is the free candle if you spent $125. And actually, I've never had this candle. This was a launch that I skipped. I didn't get Fruit and Flakes. It was when I was like diving back into Kringle a little bit, but I wasn't ordering. And the packaging is so cute. It literally is a painted jar of Fruit Loops, or Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms. So cute. Now, I can see how this smells like uh, Lucky Charms, the cereal. It's really creamy, like a very creamy marshmallow vanilla fragrance. I think this is really yummy. This will be a really good Sunday morning candle. I love my Sunday morning candles. A little bit bakery and gourmand. It's really yummy. I'll be curious to see how this throws. I definitely, I know this is not very new, but I'm excited to see that I got it for free in this order. Yeah, it's a good one. I like it. It's a very sweet bakery marshmallow. So excited to burn that. And I'm excited for when that comes into 100% soy to try that. Because 100% soy, or well, it is 100% soy, 100% soy three wicks. That's what I'll mean. Because I love me 100% soy wax three wicks. I picked up two of the Juicy Delight, which is watermelon, lime, lemon, green, sugar, and watermelon and it looks like this it has lots of juicy watermelons on there and all white wax this is a very fruity juicy watermelon i will say leans jolly rancher but not in a bad way i think it's really yummy it's really summery i'm gonna save this for summer only a few of these i'm gonna burn for spring the other ones i have for other seasons in mind but this is really nice. It's very juicy, very sour, like Jolly Rancher watermelon to me. So I'm excited for that one. I got two of those. I had to get two of these off the bat. Look at this. This is happy birthday. Look at the balloons, the celebratory, cute balloons, obsessed. I got two of these. Now, the only thing I'm a little disappointed with is I thought this was going to be like a birthday cake candle, but whenever it launched, it's just the vanilla cone in a different name. Not sure exactly that story, but powdered sugar, vanilla, butters, butters is a note, caramel, homemade waffles, and milk. And yeah, this smells like you walked into an ice cream shop and vanilla waffle cones are being made like fresh on the grill. Oh, it's so good. So strong. Again, not birthday cake though. Definitely like a vanilla ice cream cone. <sighs> Yum. I like it. I love how rainbow fun this packaging is and how fun to give this as a gift for somebody for their birthday. And who doesn't love a candle? Next, whew, this packaging. Donut Worry. So this is also not a new fragrance. 
I believe only one of these that I picked up is a new fragrance. The rest are just being made in the three wick. Baked donut, sweet sprinkles, slightly fruity, buttery, nutmeg, cinnamon, and creamy vanilla icing. This is the most icing forward sweet scent I have ever smelled in my life. Oh my God, like this smells exactly like the Pillsbury cinnamon roll frosting. When you open the can or the, open that like plastic container with a metal lid of cinnamon bun frosting, like super sweet. If you do not like sweet or cloying, you're not gonna like this. I'll be curious to see how strong this is in the three wick or like what it smells like when you light it up. Cause right now it just smells like super sweet vanilla cinnamon roll frosting. So whew, it is strong, it is sweet. So excited to try that one. This I had to have and I was so excited it launched in the three wick. Fresh lilac, look at that, beautiful. I love lilac scents, one of my favorite fragrances for spring. Lilac, floral musk, freesia, jasmine, magnolia, sweet pea, and tuberose. Kringle's fresh lilac is like the entire lilac bush. Other brands, it's either more floral or more green. I find that this one is a really great balance. You get the ozonic notes of the outdoors. You get the greenness of the plant. You get the lilac bush. It almost smells purple. I know lilacs are purple and the jar is purple, but it almost smells purple to me. It's beautiful. Mm. I love lilac, always will. And when they came out with Fresh Cut Lilac's body care, oh, I was all about it. Lilac is just beautiful. Next is Macintosh Apple. I am saving this one for fall. So apple, pear, pineapple, jasmine, rose, musk, and vanilla. Just smells like the juiciest Macintosh Apple scent. I love a Mac Apple, such a good scent for fall when you're not wanting those like super heavy bakery, but you still want something fruity. This is a good like August scent when you're a little bit over the fruity summery fragrances, but you're not quite ready for the heavy fall scents. This Macintosh will be a great transition. And how fun with all the apples. It kind of reminds me of the scene from The Wizard of Oz and the Tin Man when they're throwing all the apples, um, the witches throwing apples. So it kind of looks like that. I like I love the packaging. Next, we have Citrus and Sage. Now, this is an homage to Yankee Candles, Sage and Citrus. The second I smelled this, Citrus, Clove, Floral, Patchouli, Sage, Sandalwood, and Tonka Bean. It smells exactly like Sage and Citrus from Yankee, but Crinkle Candles throw. So, I'll be very excited to burn this in the kitchen. I think sage and citrus or citrus and sage is such a beautiful fragrance. The citrus is just barely there, but it adds such a depth and sophistication to the sage. So pretty, so pretty. I love, I love, love, love this scent. Can't get enough. So really excited for this, for the kitchen. And then last but not least, we have blushing blossoms and look how pretty with the pink flowers on there, really pretty. Now this one, rose petals, floral, fresh lilac, green ferns, herbal, and musk. This is an interesting one. I can't wait to see reviews. I almost feel like this is a masculine body wash mixed with a floral body wash. It, this, I don't know if it's the herbs mis mixing with the musk, but this kind of like, maybe a man, okay, a man got out of the shower wearing, like he just had like a, a very masculine, like old spice, fresh water type of body wash. But then he used his girlfriend's body lotion from like Bath and Body Works. It's like a very interesting combination to me. I like it. I really like it. Just very different. Kind of, you know what, now, the more you smell a scent, the more you can get other things. Almost like mahogany teak wood. And like, 
a rose candle had a baby. It's very interesting. Very interesting on like, and like, I'm not into gendered fragrances, like wear whatever you like, but it, it kind of is like that cross between masculine and feminine. I definitely get mahogany teakwood in here. Like that, like that quintessential Abercrombie Fierce mahogany teakwood crossed with a floral. Very interesting. I, I, I'm going to be very curious to burn this. Definitely a bedroom scent for sure. I think it's just the right amount of strength too on cold. Again, I haven't lit it, so I'll be very curious to see how it performs on warm. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you picked up from Kringle. I think we should be pretty good on the launches for a while. He launched a lot of things recently. I think the only thing left are going to be the restocks of reserve and if I want to pick up any multiples of these, but I'm definitely going to be buying if it's available in the three wick soy. That's what I'm going with first. I just love the look. I love the stackability. I love that they burn a little bit quicker than the large two wick, just because by this point I'm like ready for a new scent, but they keep on kicking and I hate having like a bunch of like half and three quarter ways burned candles in my collection. I actually pulled all of my candles that I've already lit out of my collection and put them in the kitchen cabinet. And that's what I'm working on. And I am not, I'm knocking on, knocking on wood. I am not burning any new candles until I finish what's in my closet. I have about 15. So probably two weeks is what I'm gonna feel like. I'm not lighting a new candle until all of those are finished and then I can start fresh. Holding myself accountable, really going to let myself have that power, that strength to not do it. We'll see how it goes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I make a YouTube, a new YouTube video. Didn't roll off the tongue as easily that time. Again, use code DREWYOCK15 to save you 15% off your Kringle purchases. Make it a better world and be kind. We sure need it out there. I love you so much. Bye, guys.